my beautiful butterflies welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Beverly and it is lovely to see you today in this video I'm going to be giving you a tour of my bookshelves so grab a cup of tea let's get to it So recently I've been showing you our conversion from a double garage into a room, <laughs> an actual livable room and it's been a really exciting to share with you. The last time I showed you like a brief overview of the room and a few people asked to see a close-up of the bookshelves and what we have on our bookshelves so that's what you're going to be seeing today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe but let's get to it shall we okay so here we are at the first bookshelves it's the first shelf and these are all teddy bears the first two shelves i've been collecting teddy bears my whole life as you can see here's all my bears is this one's from australia He uh, plays Waltz and Matilda. It's very cool. We've got Snoopy here. We've got some Star Wars kids. There's a little nurse here that was bought for me for my nursing course. And here we've got a lot of dragons. We've got the guy from Hitchhiker's Guide. We've got the Beatles, Police Officer, Gonzo. <laughs> we've got all the greats here in this shelf. And then, so then on this shelf, we've got um, a bear from Cornwall. I always buy a bear when I go on holiday. It's just part of me now. We've got Baloo. We've got Elvis. I love these bears. We've got Eeyore and a really groovy 1970s rabbit. Can you see him there? How cool is he? Some of these bears are from when I was really little, like these ones that we got from... Um, I think we got these two from a zoo. We have... a an original Spice Girl doll. How cool am I? Look at that. I was a big Scary Spice fan when I was a kid. So it's it's just all about memories for me, to be honest. <laughs> These bears hold so much significance in my life. On this bottom shelf, we've got um, a Simon Pegg t-shirt wearing one. We've got Dougal from the Magic Roundabout. Some of the mice from Bagpuss even uh hello kitty it's just really cool to see all these and talk about them because uh, i love my bears on the top here i've got a cosplay top hat because i love dressing up i need to do more of that on the channel i think let me know if you would like to see that i have some funko pops of the walking dead and i have a little i think it's a lunchbox of sally from uh, nightmare before christmas so this one is all rag dolls my mum made this rag doll for me. This one has, <laughs> bless her, she's got no arms and only one leg. She's still loved. Like, <laughs> strawberry shortcake, holly hobbit. These were made by a local woman. And this was knitted by a friend of my mum's. And this one was made by a friend of my mum's. So they mean a lot to me, these dolls, on this shelf. As you can see on here, we have some more. We've got the chimp from PG Tips. Is it PG Tips? The little chimp. Monkey. So we've got a couple of monkeys on here. But we've also got E.T. and Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute, aren't they? This is Huggy Bear. My mum used to make this little guy come alive when I was little. So cute. This is my seven dwarves. I had this thing when I lived in Birmingham like years ago that I used to go to the Disney store and buy myself one of the seven dwarves. Never got them all though. No, still I've got Sneezy, Doc, Happy and Doc again because he was a different form of Doc but I do want all seven. But anyway, it's Snow White. <laughs> so this shelf is a pirate obviously and a guy from Australia but also teddy bears that are literally falling apart because they were like family members before I was born and were kind of gifted to me because people knew that I would look after them. So there's that one and there's also this one whose guts are all coming out but this was my uncle Brian's when he was ba a baby and my grandmother made him so he's always going to stick around. So that's the end of the teddy bears. Here we have this amazing set of figures from the Marvel Universe that my best friend Hannah got me. We have trading cards from Once Upon a Time, Lost, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel, Firefly and Vampire Diaries. These are like souvenirs from concerts and things that I've been to. So here we have steps from the gold tour. <laughs> 
I love collecting these whenever I go to a concert I always pick up one and then on this end I have um, an Emmy consideration Joan of Arc box set that I got Joan of Arcadia box set which was a really good TV show if you've not seen it really really good and it's got like special stuff inside that was sent out for Emmy consideration that I got from eBay <laughs> thank you eBay <laughs> So on the very top, I've got some DVD box sets. I've got Lost, we've got Friends, I've got Laurel Hardy. The great thing about the Lost one is it's signed. It's signed by Ian Smolderholder, who played Boone, and he was also Damon Salvatore in The Vampire Diaries. So that's really cool. And I've got a little Med Before Christmas decoration as well. Now we're getting into like books that are signed and collectibles, like this Coca-Cola Limited Edition. By, designed by Del Marquis from the Scissor Sisters. This is signed, this is signed, this is not signed. But I think the Mina Lima stuff is so beautiful. I know we don't like to give money to JK Rowling anymore. However, when they bring out beautiful things like this, it's hard to resist. These are um, some toys from when I was a child. These were bought out when Serenity and Firefly came out. They had a website. They had a website that had um, prizes and stuff. I miss those days to be honest when they did more effort to bring out TV shows and films and make them more collectible. I miss those days. Uh, Peep Show is signed, got my Captain Americas and some books about chronic illness as well. If you'd like me to do a video about the books that I have about chronic illness definitely let me know. So this shelf is a little bit of a hodgepodge shelf, we all have them, but here we have my Captain America mask this is an amazing picture of that's me and my best friend Louise with our convention dad Ian who used to look after us when we were at conventions <laughs> he always made us laugh and made sure that we rested when we needed to rest he's just a really lovely chap and yeah I like having them close by me all the time David Hasselhoff pop this is from Knight Rider I have my christening mug picture of my parents in the 70s <laughs> this shelf, Forbidden Planet, one of the best sci-fi films ever. If you've not seen the original Forbidden Planet, you're missing out. But on this shelf, I have a lot of concert programs and event programs. I have books from TV shows and movies, as well as comics. And at the end, I have my colouring books. These are all like great things that, to be hidden because <laughs> it looks messy. But I mean, I can't throw out comics. That would be crazy. So this is a shelf of collectible things. So I've got the Wizard of Oz 75th anniversary DVD. No, Blu-ray set. Doris Day DVDs. Snow White and the Huntsman. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Snow Piercer. These are all like special edition DVD sets that are real collector's editions. I absolutely love them to death. Then I've got some like artsy craftsy things to make my own soap, something to try embroidery. So it's really just a shelf of embroidery and things. Then I've got like a really nice edition of Dracula which I got from Whitby which is where it was written and my two of my Harry Potter books and Wizard of Oz and Jane Austen. I love special editions of things, they just look really pretty. And then here we've got some Harry Potter ones, as you do, just hanging around. So here we've got um, autographs from some of the Glee cast that I met at a convention they did here in the UK uh, a few years back now. And then behind that I've got a Snow White book, Dolly Parton, I've got Elvis books. Just a lot of collectibles, things like the Fantastic Beasts, crafting books. A lot of these I got from charity shops and things like that. Like a lot of them I have not bought new. So I'm really lucky in my thrifting finds, as you know if you watch my thrifting monthly hauls. So on the top here I've got some Funko Pops that were from the Marvel Anniversary and they did them in gold. They're really nice, I especially like the Captain America. You might notice that I'm a big Captain America fan. And we've got uh, Mr Potato Head but he's uh, Darth Vader and a Forbidden Planet box set. As you can tell me and my husband are a big fan of Forbidden Planet. So on this shelf I have quite a few things. These are for a future giveaway. I'm saving things up to do giveaway so if you want to be 
part of that giveaway make sure you're subscribed then we have some little um i can't remember what these were called anyway got those toys there got some of my favorite here i've got an autograph from eliza dusku who played faith in buffy the vampire slayer and angel got toad to toad hall i love toad to toad hall it's one of my favorite stories when i was a kid i just love it and then uh, you can't beat a bit of nightmare before christmas can you so up here we've got some of my um childhood books so these bears are called the bad taste bears and i used to be a huge fan of them like here i have a um, card that a family ma member made for me and my husband when we got married and i definitely want to get this put in a frame because it's just so beautiful and then in here i've got all my tv and movie tv series collectible books and things i've got like all of these are signed by the cast a lot of my books are signed and that's why i've kept them here i have a vintage book the modern home doctor i have quite a lot of vintage books if you want me to do a more in-depth video just on my vintage books definitely let me know down below so here we have my funko pops that are still in boxes this is because they're more collectible they're rarer they're harder to find like a hot topic special of the mad hatter love the mad hatter we've got lex luther who is my baby from smallville doctor who's clara we've got a double of buffy and faith i used to do Funko Pop openings a lot on my channel but I just don't collect them as much anymore trying to save money. Down here these two are quite important because I pre-ordered these. I pre-ordered this one and when it came it's Bucky dressed up as Captain America and it was an exclusive it was an exclusive pop but then I noticed that the same one came just as Steve so they're the same pop but very different and I love that I've got both of them down here we have a card that my husband got made for me with our dog Gizmo as Captain America I've got to keep that forever and that's hiding these books that kind of don't really go anywhere and leaving us more room for growth because i'll probably thrift more books in the future this is really special it's a huge book huge book and it's all about the film some like it hot i can do a tour of this book in future if you'd like me to so on the last bookcase and these are more just collectibles rather than books so here we have an elvis doll this is like a limited edition of dolls of Anyanka and Anya and De Hoffren from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. If you're not a Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan, I, I don't know you. <laughs> we have Spark, which is my husband's, and then we've got all the Avengers, a pin-up version of Wonder Woman, which has to be done, and a little devil stitch. And here on this shelf is my Captain America and Bucky collection. They are my two favourite characters from the Marvel Universe, and I've got all all of the pops from both so yeah it felt right to just have a little mini shelf dedicated to them this is kind of my simon Pegg shelf so we've got from when he did star trek his scotty figures got shun of the dead that's from his doctor who appearance and there's another simon over here and that is signed pointing to his crotch don't know why a uh, little funko pop zombie survival can cup and randomly Doctor Who, awesome shelf. So this is my Buffy the Vampire Slayer shelf. I've got a cup. I've got all my Funko Pops. I don't have all the Funko Pops, for, but I do have the first Buffy and the Prom Buffy. This one is Amber Benson signed. So they're all <laughs> really special to me. Like this is a special edition of Tara and Faith together. And that one's a special edition of Anya and her bunny suit. I just, I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now I'm not going to show you the bottom shelf because it's just photo albums it's just photo albums but instead i have to show you this this is a autograph from danny dyer and it says beverly you really are the bollocks i heart you i love dan and then on the back i have another one that says beverly love you baby i wish i still look like this poor dan you do to me dan you do to me <laughs> i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave me a cheeky little like down below so i know you 
enjoyed it and I can bring more like this to the channel in future. While you're down there, leave me a comment. Let me know which your favourite shelf was, what sort of things do you love collecting and if you like my bookshelves. I would love to know all the things. We're a lovely little community here. We love to chat. So yeah, get a type in. And last but not least, don't forget, if you like my content, if you like my face, why not head down there and hit that subscribe button and become part of the butterfly family we are a really lovely just really nice corner of the internet i love making videos here and i would love to see you part of the family so don't forget to hit that subscribe button ring that little bell so you always know when i upload i'm usually here mondays and fridays my health permitting I always do my very best to be here with you every week twice a week don't forget to let me know all the things down below do you have bookcases like this in your house are you organized do you have collections i want to know all the things while you're hanging around for a bit why not grab another cup of tea and check out this playlist that i put together for you i hope you're all staying well have a wonderful day today and i'll see you next time bye